Yeah, okay. Uh, so, in the previous videos, we have seen how to construct a REST API to perform all the necessary CRUD operations. And uh, let's see how we can uh, connect to uh, MongoDB in order to uh, persist our data. Because uh, uh, currently, I think uh, we have just uh, persist uh, the JSON payloads in a local uh, post.json file, but it is not quite a good practice. Because if you are dealing with a real world scenario, we will be having a lot of data objects that we need to handle uh, concurrently as well as they will be uh, uh, in uh, several different regions or geographical locations. Therefore, it is not quite a good practice to have uh, these sort of uh, in-house uh, server files to store our uh, JSON payloads. So therefore, uh, it's better to have a separate module that is specifically in order for handling this data related stuff such as MongoDB. So MongoDB uh, actually provide these services uh, as a uh, cloud environment. So if you go to their website, there will be a, a section called uh, MongoDB Atlas. So this is basically a cloud solution where you can um, store uh, your uh, data uh, in a cloud then uh, basically it will handle all the necessary scaling and uh, all the geographical related, uh, related activities but anyway uh, we just need to showcase uh, I just need to showcase how this stuff happen locally therefore I am going to use a MongoDB community server okay, so this is basically a local application that you can simply download and install then once you install it uh, it will give this interface uh, where you can uh, connect to your local instance of MongoDB. But if you have uh, a cloud instance that you set up by using MongoDB Atlas, then uh, there will be a, a connection string to your cluster. So you can easily make a new connection by clicking this uh, new connection uh, option. And uh, you can simply connect to that uh, cloud cluster as well. Uh, so you can use both options, but uh, I think uh, using the local database will be more convenient to our case so i will just simply use mongodb local instance so once i click connect it will be connected to the database and uh, you can see there are several databases that i have created uh, in uh, previous sessions but uh, let, let me let me remove those stuff because because uh, we are going to create this stuff from scratch uh, so i will remove this okay so first thing basically we have to con uh, connect to a database that is rely on our local instance right uh, therefore first we must have a database inside uh, our mongodb so i will simply name this as simple db and uh, initially there must be having sort of a collection so i will uh, name this as uh, let's say post or something like that then i can simply uh, click create database so it will uh, initialize the database for us with a, a default collection but if you go to the go to this collection it will be empty because currently we have went uh, stored any uh, documents inside this collection right so that's the initial setup and uh, we need to make a connection uh, through our express application as well so first i will run my server so in order to run server you have to type npm run server and uh, simultaneously i will load the terminal over there then I can install several packages as well. So basically, we need uh, two more packages. So currently, we we have uh, these packages, but in order to make a, a database connection, we need these packages, which is Mongo DBN Mongoose. So once these packages are installed, uh, we are good to go with 
our server in order to make a connection all right so packages has been installed you can see new packages has been added like this and if you ever wonder where these modules are uh, rely it basically relies on this node module folder so make sure not to edit or delete this uh, directory because it handles all the uh, packages for you all uh, right then uh, in order to make a connection you can go for this uh, server and we can set up uh, our uh, mongoose connection like this so first let's require mongoose then uh, once it was required uh, we can make the connection so let me name this as let's say server running and uh, it's made our connection as it's a database connection right so first uh, we can use mongoose.connect to connect our uh, database so in order to connect our database we need to use this connection string otherwise uh, we don't know what sort of a database that we are going to uh, connect so the connection string is basically this localhost uh, 27017 uh, <laughs> port number uh, yeah so i have misspelled the port number i mean you get the idea right we need to use this connection string then uh, simply copy this connection string and let's go back to our config.env file and let's say database credentials and let's say database local right i'm i'm constructing a local database for now but uh, later on we can connect to the uh, cloud database instance as well when we are going to the uh, production level but currently we are in the environment uh, which is development uh, therefore we can just use this local uh, mongodb instance then uh, we have to specifically say what sort of a database that we are going to connect so it is simply this database so therefore i have to specify our database like this so once it was done this will be a connection string that we can use to uh, made our uh, mongodb connection in our express application so let's go to this function again and we need to uh, call process.env and this database look right uh, then we need to specify several options as well so only option that we require is we have to tell mongoose to use new url pass it. so it is true then uh, if this connection is made successfully it will return a promise so that promise can be uh, accessed using this dot then uh, segment and we have to initialize a function as well so i will use a simple log function and uh, i will use this colors dot yellow as well then we can display a yellow colored uh, log line in our terminal and let's simply say database is connected database is connected like this all right uh, so that's all we require but it it says it missing some sort of arguments uh, simply let's let's restart this server because each time when we are specifying a new uh, environment variable uh, we have to restart our server uh, yeah and we don't need this semicolon right 
now you can see database is connected because uh, it basically open a connection uh, to our MongoDB database by using this connection string and uh, you can specify any other uh, connection options via mongoose so i need a one more uh, setting which is uh, i need to enable a strict query option then we can easily perform our query related uh, invocations uh, actually I, I i need to disable this uh, setting right then we can easily uh, invoke our uh, functions database functions right so that is all we required and uh, next i will show you how to uh, save our database uh, objects by using node